Hi everyone, this is Vicki again, and um, this video is going to be about my challenge um, for being on YouTube for two years. Um, I really would like to do this um, this challenge where I get to know my subscribers and you guys uh, a little better. And the crafting community is wonderful. You guys are terrific, and I get so much inspiration and um, support, a lot of love from you guys, and so I want to know about you guys. Um, my, um, my energy, my fuel to creativity is inspiration, and um, a lot of times, you know, we and the doldrums or um, I forgot what you guys call it, but, you, but you're stuck, and so you don't have an inspiration. So um, I, what I do is I go to places um, where, like um, art shows or craft shows um, that gives me inspiration. I'll go to libraries, I love books, I love to look at the books and, and um, where it takes me from one book to the next book to the next book because I have questions or you know it's just ideas that pop in your head and so um, those are kind of things that um, really um, I guess my personality is um, input I like a lot of input and so um, I'm always looking looking out for new new ways to do things or new new mediums and you know, add that to an old medium and put it together to make something. But um, that's pretty much um, the way that my inspiration works to do things. And um, you're, you're looking at some of the things that I've made in the past couple of years. And um, it's not that I have thought it up. It's just that I've taken one concept from somebody or something and I've made it into my own. And that's what I want to see with you guys. Um, I want to see what you guys have, where you get it from your energy, because we can bounce energy off each other. And so um, that just fuels it and makes you even excited for everything. Um, to be personalized as being a whole person. And um, so let me tell you a little story. When I first got started, I saw <clears throat> Miss Beauty Bom Bom, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, I saw her video on making um, a puffy flower. And she used those rosettes, you know, that you get. Um, uh, she had gotten hers at Hobby Lobby, I think. But these rosettes. And so I um, had some already from Frog Feathers. So I thought I'd try that. And when I did, um, this is what. I came up with and this is what I called my puffy um, my puffy rosette flower and I have a tutorial on that and that's probably one of my very first videos that I did two years ago and so um, my inspiration then came from her and then um, but mine look a little different I don't know if it's because I added more or whatever but um, when I sent one to um, to Laura, the Robin Laura, who I watched all the time <laughs> when I first started watching videos. Um, she really, really liked it and she called it a Vicky flower. So that's just where it came from, um, the Vicky flower. But um, <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, um, Laura. <laughs> but uh, that was cute. Um, but I didn't really think, of a, think it up myself. Um, but that's how my inspiration worked. Um, you know, I went and took it to another level of um, cupcakes. You know, I'll, I'll look this up, the one in back there like that. I did, I saw somebody else's video with making cupcakes. Um, and I can't remember her name, but um, she makes beautiful things. And um, several other people have made cupcakes, but I put um, the puffy rosette on top of it um, that was like the flower but puffier 
And so I made that and then I started crocheting, went to doing this type of thing. Um, then I did made this cupcake pin cushion with the um, crocheting and um, you know I <laughs> it just evolves uh, yeah remember when we put the the little toppings on there the little sequins and beads on there like that um, so same thing with the crocheting I crocheted all those flowers like that and you know all those over there and it was crazy making that and then eventually lately I made this bowl this is crochet so that's how my my crafting has been evolving um, the heart the heart I um, I always love hearts and so um, when I was in Hawaii um, about four years ago I found the, this heart necklace in a boutique and I love the shabbiness of it and how it wasn't perfect. Um, when you when you see something that um, uh, gives you um, joy, look at it and, and ask yourself, why do I love this? You know, I don't necessarily love this color, this green. I mean, a lot of people like it, but that wasn't why I love this piece. It was because of the shabbiness and because of the bling in there mixed, all these different elements mixed together. And that's what I loved about that. So, um, and then there has this um, leather part to it. So I always kept this and thinking um, someday, maybe I'll make something like, like that or something. But I always kept this um, aside. And um, one day when I went to go try to make something for the girls, um, at a party at Marissa's house. Hi, Marissa, um, creative young mama. We um, got together and I made the girls these shabby hearts. And that came from that necklace. So this is the puffy part, puffy, shabby heart. And I put some, um, I didn't make this one, but this is a crocheted flower. And I put some bling on it that I love. And then um, this is a piece that um, Marilyn G made for me. Hi, Marilyn. Um, and she made this for me, gave it to me, and I put it on here because it just is perfect together and um, reminds me of her when I see it. So I hang it in my craft room, and um, I have a, a video, a tutorial on how to make this also. But of course, someone else has made these before. It's not like I invented it, but um, but um, that that's just you make it your own. It's someone else maybe doesn't use cheesecloth on there to make that shabbiness. Um, you know, doesn't sew on the outside. Maybe they sew it on the in, you know, um, regular sewing. But that's just um, expressing myself and um, making it who I am and. Um, that's that's part of crafting so I don't claim anything to be my idea um, I put things together um, to make it me personalized as my not my idea but as who I am so and that's what you guys do you make things and you take an idea and you make it and it's it's who you are. You made it. You personalized it. Sometimes we do create things for other people, but you can see it's part of you in there, and it's um, you make it for um, them because the the colors they like, the style they like. Um, you try to make it um, something that they would like, right? So um, that's um, that's that one, and then of course after those hearts. I went to making this, I found a quilt, and I knew I love quilts that are ratty, you know, they're not, you know, they're old and coming apart and stuff, and so um, I bought this quilt for pretty inexpensive, um, and because it was all coming apart, and then I um, made little puffy little hearts, just puffed it a little bit, you'll see how it's coming apart back here, but that's the character of it, put little dangles on there, and um, made this one into a necklace. This is um, something that Amy 
Tutu Amy made for me, so I put that on there in my me of her. And um, so that's that's what I put on here. And it's, there's another um, blingy heart because I like the bling. <laughs> so anyway, that's um, another thing that I've made. And I think I made dangles like that for the girls also. Um, just because I like dainty things. I like little tiny things. I like bling. Um, so know what you like and then personalize it to yourself. Look at, I, I have a puffy heart someone made for me. This is from um, uh, Whimsical Endeavors. Look at that. So she made a puffy heart, but it's hers. She, she made it. Look at, she put um, seam binding in here. Some people have put um, crochet pieces, um, doilies in there. Um, I think on this one I put it on the bottom underneath. But you can add anything you want to these, you know. Make it yours or what you have and what you like and the colors you like. And um, so anyway, that's what I want you guys to do, okay? For the challenge, the challenge is inspiration. And um, I want to get to know you guys. And so um, I want you to make a video. And send it to me um, via message or to my link it to my um, YouTube message or to my um, email, which is tryheart67 at aol.com. So you can send it to me by email, and you'll get five points for that. Now, um, if you don't make videos, all you have to do is write in a comment. Um, you can write anything you like on the comment. I want to participate in the giveaway, and that'll give you one point. If you comment in there that you, um, if you explained something that you've made and how you uh, came to make it through your inspiration, that will give you five points. If you, um, let's see, that's, um, if you, Oh, also, you have to send me a picture of of your of your um, of what you made, and for five points. Okay, and send it through email. Okay, um, you have to be a subscriber, and um, I'm easy. You don't, you know, you can be a new subscriber or, um, but you have to subscribe, and. Um, Let's see. That's that's it. That's what I, I that's my challenge. It's kind of simple, but you know, um, please try to make a really good video because because I really like to see how other. It gives me excitement. It gives me joy to see other people how they think and how they get um, inspiration and and um, and also that you learn that you know that it comes from someplace else too. I mean, it's not total your idea. Nothing is totally one person's idea. I mean, you may have several things come together and no one's put it together in that way. Um, and that's that's good, but that that's because it's part of you. But, um, but I, I would really, um, I really like this, um, this inspiration idea and, um, and I'm so excited about it. So, so anyway, do those things, and um, my time is up. I'll talk to you later. Bye.